Hey everyone, welcome back. How I cleared Fabric Analytics Engineer Associate exam. This is what I'm going to talk today. So just before I have completed my exam and I'm super excited to share it with you all that I have cleared the exam. So I'll be telling you if you're new to this uh, Fabric Analytics Engineer Associate. So I will tell you, give you a small introduction about what is this, who should do this and why should you do this everything. Meanwhile, I'll also tell you um, going forward, I'll also tell you like what, how I cleared this exam, how I prepared and what are the questions like um, I will tell you the my exam experience. OK, so just stay till the end. I'll be I'm super excited to talk about these things. OK, uh, so here you can see I am going to talk about these things like uh, what are the overview of the certification, um, your skills measured prepare for the exam how you can prepare for the exam practice for the exam and uh, exam details certification renewal and the resources and finally i'll be talking about my ex exam experience okay this will be really helpful for you so uh, first one is what overview of certification so what is this certification is all about i'm just going to tell you that okay so this is certification which is designed to make you expert in designing creating and deploying enterprise scale data analytics solution okay so the code exam code for this is what dp600 and here you will understand you will learn how to uh, create a better analytic solution okay and uh, if this responsibilities include you will be preparing the data OK, we have a lot of lot of uh, uh, things involved in fabric. You will enrich the data for analysis and maintain the analytics assets. And also, you will know how to uh, collaborate better with the stakeholders, architects, analyst, engineer and administrator. And, and what is the essentials for these things? OK, you will learn all these things. So what are the certification details? If you are really interested to do this, you should know what are the certification details and everything about this particular certification. So this is actually the intermediate level certification. So um, Microsoft has three levels of certification. One is fundamental. OK, so fundamental certification, which is for beginner level. If you want to understand how the certification works, for example, if you want to learn, um, uh, if you want to start your career with Power BI or something, you should like anything related to business application, you should start with PL 900. Likewise, it will go. And from from fundamental, it will next level of certification is intermediate and the third level of certification is expert okay so fabric data analytics engineer associate comes under intermediate level certification okay so this is the one and uh, this is by Microsoft okay who designed this this is from Microsoft Microsoft has uh, uh, this for designed this specifically for the analytics engineer so those who can really do wonders with the data and analytics they should definitely do this fabric analyst uh, fabric analytics engineer associate and the role after completing this, OK, Gomati, so I'm learning all these things. What is the role I'll be getting? You will either become a data engineer or a data analyst. OK, and the subject is what data analytics. Yes, because we are going to talk about the data. We are going to deal with the data. So the subject is data analytics. OK, and what is the renewal frequency? Always your foundation level don't have any renewal. So once you have completed, yes, done. But intermediate and advanced level expert level has the renewal frequency like either uh, it may be 12 years or 16 uh, months, 12 months or 16 months, you know, like one year or one and a half years. Sometimes some so based on the um, based on the certification. So you may ask me why they are asking us to renew. OK, so. Um, you know, like Microsoft, these fabric is SaaS, which is software as a services you can access through the cloud. So what happens every year, not only every year, every month, there will be some updates happening. OK, so you should be up to date on these things, right? So for that, in order to uh, check you whether you are up to date, they'll be having the renewal frequency and you have to renew your certification. So if you have any questions about how to renew the uh, uh, certification uh, please comment it i will uh, i will plan a ama session that is ask me anything session for dp600 okay 
and this is last updated that is i'm talking about the exam which is last updated on 15 11 2024 which is november okay this is my channel um, if you haven't subscribed it please go ahead and subscribe i have already talked many thing about power bi specifically okay you can find a lot of playlist related to power bi here so power bi tamil english and then power how you can use python in power bi okay so this is what seven days boot camp on mastering python visuals in power bi and power query editor so i've been talking about it and if you want i can also start dp600 fabric an analyst engineer uh, okay and if you have any questions of if you want to talk to me uh, about your career or about your certification readiness you can schedule a call with me here i am happy to assist you you can see that uh, i will be conducting a lot of live sessions okay specifically uh, ama that is ask me anything and you can um, you can expect this ama every month right from january towards the end of l the last thursday every uh, every month the last thursday we are planning and also Uh, we are planning a last event this year that is on 30 or 31st okay so just watch this live event so i'll be talking about a lot of certification here okay so let's just go ahead next one is skill measured what are the skills measured here okay so the first one is you should be able to maintain a data analytics solution okay and the next one is you should be able to prepare the data and finally implement manage semantic models that's it only three skills they are just uh, measuring and these three skills are really mandatory okay how can you prepare for the exam so what are the basic things which you can uh, you should get uh, to prepare for the exam that is you have to you have some specific uh, learning path here i think we have four learning path okay to uh, to complete so first one is get started with microsoft fabric analytics engineer this is the learning path and in the in this learning path this learning path you can complete it within 10 hours 1 minute okay and the duration uh, and you have 10 units in this learning path so 10 units for 10 hours which means that 1 hour each okay you can plan like that so you should have getting started with fabric this is the first learning path and the second learning path like additionally what you should know is what implement a data warehouse with microsoft fabric this is the second one in which you have to spend 5 hours 28 minutes so totally the first if you combine first and second learning path it is uh, 15 hours 28 minutes and you have 5 minutes here okay you have 5 minutes here and the third learning path is what work with semantic models in microsoft fabric here you have 7 hours you have to spend 7 hours 10 minutes already we have 15 hours 28 minutes and now it's 7 hours which means that 22 hours 38 minutes okay and the and you have 6 units here and next you have you uh, uh, the fourth module is administer and govern microsoft fabric so uh, you have to spend 3 hours and 15 minutes here previously we had 22 hours and 38 minutes so 22 plus 3 25 and approximately you can fix around a uh, 25 30 or uh, 25 26 to 27 hours okay this is an approximate time and you have four units okay i am planning to uh, create a learn i have my dp600 learning strategy and if you want to see just comment s yes, i will be happy to uh, show it to you how to prepare for this exam and my strategy as well okay so let's just continue how to practice for the exam okay you should know how to practice for the exam first one is the practice assessment uh, like overview of the question style uh, which is directly available available in the microsoft learn i'll be towards the end i'll be showing you uh, the practice assessment provided by microsoft learn so stay till the end how uh, you can just read it and uh, what are the types of questions you'll be getting it and you have sandbox exam so it is an interactive demo to stimulate the exam environment provided by microsoft itself and you have exam preparation videos uh, there you can find lot of tips and strategies provided by the exams and also you can find a lot of uh, youtube videos there as well by dp6 and for dp600 you can just go through that and this is the overall exam details okay i have my own uh, my like what is my experience towards the end so the total duration of the exam is 100 minutes which is approximately you will be getting um, 
वन हार फोर्टी मिनट्स और समथिंग ओके वन हार फोर्टी मिनट्स सो दिस इज योर एग्जाम एंड द पॉलिसी इज वॉट प्रॉक्टर्ड योर एग्जाम यू शुड योर वीडियो शुड बी एनेबल इट्स नॉट एन ओपन बुक एग्जाम यू कैन नॉट यूज एनी बुक्स और एडिशनल पेपर मेटीरियल्स और समथिंग बट यू हैव माइक्रोसॉफ्ट लर्न इन योर एग्जाम ओके सो यू कैन एक्सेस माइक्रोसॉफ्ट लर्न and policy is what you can retake for example if you have uh, if you not clear the exam for the first time you can retake it after immediately after 24 hours okay and even if you have uh, not succeeded uh, for the second time then again uh, after 15 days i think you can retake after 15 days and it may vary okay so accordingly it will vary and accommodations are available for various needs so it is available for english in these languages okay english japanese chinese german french uh, spanish and portuguese so only these uh, uh, these languages they are offering and the next comes your certification renewal as i told you have to renew it every 12 months and renewal is not uh, so much difficult like your exact exam difficulty in the sense you have to prepare you have to be online proctored and everything right that is not uh, that is not the case in the terms of renewal it's very easy i have already talked about the renewal in my playlist you can just go ahead and check it okay i'll also show you i will um, uh, add the renewal process link in the comment pin the comment or the description please go ahead and check it and what are the certification resources you can see here that uh, exam dp 600 study guide which is available for the relevant topic so study guide also i will show you towards the end okay and you can also uh see how what are the types of certifications you have and also the resources which is you can find it even microsoft is releasing lot of uh, exam preparation strategy and also you can find it in the youtube as well okay so you can find it there now we are in my exam experience what is my experience in my exam so how i cleared it okay so the first one is how many questions i got i got nearly 61 questions okay totally 61 questions in that 16 61 questions i got um 51 direct questions direct questions in the sense they will have a, they will give you a small uh, case study uh, like small uh, scenario or uh, one or two uh, two uh, sentence and then below you have to uh, choose the right answer or something okay so it's a direct question one and another question will not be related to each other so like that it is a direct question okay so in that 51 questions i got questions from sql query okay like joins you should be uh, aware of what is inner join what is a uh, outer join like what is left outer right right outer how to do this joins where it works and everything and then i got a question about the keys like a surrogate key natural key primary key whether to implement keys or not all these things and then you should understand know the difference like when to use having when to use group by when to use where if you are good in sql then you can definitely uh, clear this particular section and i got question from power bi okay like a column profile view tab row profile uh, sorry column profile and column um, there will be something right like in the view tab you can see if you know power bi you can find okay so all these things and where how to use this type an extension uh, if they'll be asking some question and they'll uh, they will ask you what type of extension you have to show store your power bi like pbix or pbit or pbip etc and then i got um, questions from slowly changing dimensions okay scd if you are uh, if you have already worked in sql and if you know slowly changing dimension then definitely you can answer this question uh, in that like uh, if you are using a slowly changing dimension uh, uh, which keys you will be implementing like natural key or a surrogate key whether you have to add a new key or not like that there are few questions for that there are not few questions one or two questions okay and uh, workflow regarding the workflow regarding the data lake lake house i got the questions okay semantic models administering and governing so administering and governing please check that because i got i think nearly two questions i got it from administering and governing only in direct question okay so these are uh, the thing and rls role level security and security standard like whether you have you will be going with the role level security or column level security or whether you will just go ahead with the workspace as access so like that a few questions i got it okay 51 questions uh, i got it and from 51 uh, 52 53 uh, also yeah i got hotspot s yes or no now uh, uh, the thing is like 
वन टू फिफ्टी वन क्वेश्चन आर डायरेक्ट क्वेश्चन ओके एंड द नेक्स्ट थ्री क्वेश्चन दट इज फिफ्टी टू फिफ्टी थ्री फिफ्टी फोर इज माई हॉट स्पॉट दट इज एस आर नो वट डज दिस मीन लाइक दे बी गिविंग यू अ कंप्लीट सिनारियो ओके एंड बिलो दैट दे बी आस्किंग इन ऑर्डर टू सॉल्व दिस और इन ऑर्डर टू फाइंड द सोल्यूशन यू हैव टू यूज दिस एस आर नो सो द थ्री क्वेश्चन यू कैनॉट कम बैक लेटर एंड डू इट एंड यू कैनॉट रिव्यू फॉर लेटर ओके द थ्री क्वेश्चन आर यू हैव टू आंसर देर इट सेल्फ एंड यू हैव टू कंप्लीट इट ओके एस आर नो क्वेश्चन सो फ्रॉ फॉर दिस आई गॉट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम स्पाइस पार्क कमांड लाइक विच कमांड यू विल बी यूजिंग वेदर यू विल बी यूजिंग अ हिस्ट्री कमांड और समथिंग ओके सो आई गॉट थ्री कमांड्स कमांड्स एंड इन दैट कमांड यू हैव टू टेल विच वन इज करेक्ट और नॉट ओके सो फिफ्टी वन डायरेक्ट क्वेश्चन एंड देन फिफ्टी टू फिफ्टी थ्री फिफ्टी फोर इज माई केस स्टडी एंड देन फिफ्टी फाइव टू सिक्सटी वन इज माई के इज माई के स्टडी क्वेश्चन ओके so totally seven questions i got which is from quanta so these seven questions also involves sql query okay so which query you will be using and what are the types of relations uh, you have to you have to establish like whether it's a uh, connect uh, whether you will be connecting using this primary key or that key is a blah 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 and then administering okay data warehouse how you will be using a data warehouse all these things i got it okay so 61 questions i got i'm not sure whether you will be getting 61 okay sometimes you may get even 40 uh, sometimes you may get 52 okay it depends and my this is my exam experience and what are the types of questions i got is what drag and drop which is you will be dragging and dropping and you have to select from the drop down and uh, you have to use a single choice multiple choice and active screen like yes or no so active screen like yes or no is not the same as the hard part so there will be some uh, questions they will be giving you some scenario and a code okay and then they will uh, give you three statements or four statements and here you will be having yes no so you have to choose which statement is s yes, which statement is no this is what active screen which i am talking about okay uh, learning path okay so this one i followed i have nearly spent 3 um, hours a day and i have completed the learning 2 to 3 hours and i have completed within uh, uh, within 10 days because i know the basics of i know power bi so uh, i didn't spend much time on power bi and sql and other than that the administer part which i felt little uh, uh, little heavy and little uh, uh, new to me so i just wanted to spend a lot of time here so this is how it went so what i what is my um, my uh, thought for you is what just time management is most important and then if you want if you are planning to write this exam and if you require 50 percentage microsoft exam coupon so please connect with me through my microsoft learning room okay just go uh, to the uh, google and just check check for microsoft learning room okay so in the microsoft learning room or microsoft learn experts okay so here you can see um, there are a lot of learning rooms specifically for your uh, your expertise your skill you can find a lot of learning room here so you can choose anything or any learning room or else if you want to join my learning room you can also join there if you just scroll down you can find my learning room microsoft tech talks okay so just join just uh, if you click here uh, you can enroll okay you have to submit a, a form here and once you have submitted the form and once microsoft team has approved you can uh, join uh, Uh, the tenant like microsoft tenant so once you have joined the tenant please connect with me through that and uh, in the chat you can ask me for the uh, 50 percentage microsoft coupon i am ready to give it to you for your exam okay and that's all and if you want to know more information about it i'll be adding a lot of videos here uh, in my playlist okay the important playlist is what the skill up playlist you can find the skill up playlist where i I've, i've talked about many things uh, related to the technology and please just look into this live um um live sessions where i'll be adding more live sessions here uh, already we have finished one live session 5 days ago and we are planning for one more next week and uh, keep watching have a great day have a all the best if you are planning to write the exam take care bye bye